Hello everyone, welcome back to Stolen Keys Media. Before I get started with this video, as always, head over to stolenkeysmedia.com and if you haven't yet, sign up for those free recording tips that I send out about once a month. They are free, they head over to your email and I know you'll find some very useful information on there. Also, I'll be sending you some information on some courses that we'll be launching here really soon. Uh, the courses are gonna include courses on guitar, drums, uh, bass, recording, and you'll get updated information on that as far as when they start launching. I know you'll find those very useful as well. So go ahead and head over to stolenkeysmedia.com, sign up there and receive all that information. <clears throat> so, on to the video. A few weeks ago, I came across this problem that I was having as I was tracking a keyboard part and it was driving me crazy. I was just annoyed because I couldn't figure out what the problem was, why it kept doing it. And it turned out it was super simple, but that's what's exciting about learning that you never stop. So for some of you, the problem that I'm going to describe, you're going to say, that well, that's obvious. It wasn't so obvious to me. Maybe it won't be so obvious to some of you. So I hope you find this video helpful. So let me show you what it was doing when I started recording. Okay, so I would record something and it would do this. Loop it until the very end of the project and I could not figure out why. Here's the playback. And that would start looping again. So I would come back to the track and manually have to bring the loop back. And I couldn't figure out why. I was very frustrated. I was annoyed. Turned out the solution is very simple. If you head over here to the track itself, there is this little check mark here called loop. Click that and problem solved. So that was pretty much all it was. There are times when the problem that you're coming across seems bigger than what it is. I know what happens to me. Uh, so this is one of those examples. So that's pretty much it. But on the flip side, that is the feature that I use to record this video here. Click on it and it features my buddy Eddie on bass. Hope you enjoy that video as well. So there you have it. A big problem that was not so big, easily solved. Hope you found it useful. I know that I did and it was new to me. So till next time, be blessed. We'll see you guys.